Well, hello there, everybody, and a big welcome to Make Music Day 2023. Make Music Day is the world annual celebration of music and the joy it gives us. And as teachers, as music teachers, as musicians, it's our job, I believe, to share our joy of music with everybody, whether that is on World Make Music Day, because it is a world event, or on the other days of the year, of which there are rather more. Anyhow, today I'm going to be really making sure that I do share my love of music with my students. And I'm going to be saying to them, thank you. Thank you for the music and inviting them actually to play some of their favourite pieces to me. That's one thought. So I'm going to be also saying thank you for the music and actually sharing that song a little bit with them because that is just one of the pieces that is on the playlist for Make Music Day. And if you go to the Make Music Day UK website, you'll find that there is a playlist of, I think, 10 songs that you can uh, you can share with, um, with your students today, only today. So thank you for the music. As you will know very well, that is a very famous song by ABBA. And I have a lovely piano arrangement of it, actually from this book, Benny Anderson, the composer himself, Benny Anderson Piano. So this is all arranged by Benny Anderson himself, and it was published two, three years ago or something. So there's a lovely arrangement of the thank you for the music. And I'm going to be playing it, some of it to, to my students. And then we're going to see if we can, I should probably enthuse a bit, I'll tell you about that in a moment, about it. Let's let's make music, shall we? Here's a little blast. as I'm sure you'll notice. So what do I love about that song actually and what makes it so memorable and I think so popular is A the simplicity but actually it's got some lovely chord combinations in here. So it's in C major and we start with that lovely C major chord and then we go from the major to the minor we just go up to a D minor chord then we go to a G7 with a suspension of the C, um, a G, lovely G7, and then back to the C major. Oh, and it's just that lovely, da on that little sigh. So common, isn't it? All the way through from the Romantic period, that sort of a polyvature there. And then we go to another minor one with that B over the top, and then we go, oh, that B stays there, it doesn't go away, with a lovely kind of C chord, and then, oh, first inversion and then back to G. So that's really quite lovely, that little sequence. But then on the second line, it starts the same. And then we have the D minor, and now listen, it goes to an E major chord. And then to an A minor. And then this one, which is just exquisite. Ha <laughs> F major with a major seven. Um, so what I might do 
with some of my students this afternoon is we might see how much of that they can work out by ear. They'll know the tune. And of course, that's a little chromatic sequence. So I could get them to play a little chromatic scale coming down first. Give them the note to start on and say, can you work out that little four, uh, that little four note? Thank you for the music. I bet they can do it. And then all they have to do is do that. And then listen. Oh, lovely done. Once they've worked that out, you can get them to work out the left hand. to hearing the do and the so the home and the away note get them to pin those first the return the away note and the return to the do again and then all of a sudden they're almost able to get that note maybe i have to work with that a bit Activity, working out thank you for the music and why not help your students to say thank you for the music and the pleasure they get and they share with everybody else on today and every day thank you for the music thank you for going out and sharing it with your students happy world music day bye for now